the leaders in the past who had the secret wanted to keep the power and not share the power. So they kept people ignorant of the secret. People went to work, they did their job, they came home. They were on a treadmill with no power because the secret was kept in the few. We live in a universe in which there are laws. Just as there's a law of gravity, if you fall off a building, it doesn't matter whether you're a good person or a bad person, you can hit the ground. Everything that's around you right now in your life, including the things you're complaining about, you've attracted. Now, I know at first blush, that's going to be something that you hate to hear. You know, you're going to immediately say, I didn't attract the car accident. I didn't attract this particular client. I didn't uh, particularly attract the debt. I didn't uh, attract whatever it happens to be that you're complaining about. And I'm here to be a little bit in your face and to say, yes, you did attract it. And this is one of the hardest concepts to get. But once you've accepted it, it's life transforming. This is part of the overall giant secret here. And most of us attract by default. We just think that we don't have any control over it. Our thoughts are on autopilot. Our feelings are on autopilot. And so everything is just brought to us by default. Now, if this is your first time to hear this, it may feel like, oh, I have to now monitor my thoughts. This is going to be a lot of work. It will seem like that at first. But that's where the fun begins. It's impossible to monitor every thought we have. Researchers tell us that we have about 60,000 thoughts a day. Can you imagine how exhausted you feel trying to control all of those thoughts? Fortunately, there's an easier way. And it's our feelings. Our feelings let us know what it is that we're thinking. So your thoughts cause your feelings. The emotions are this incredible gift that we have to let us know what we're attracting. Think about it. You have good feelings and you have bad feelings. And you know the difference between the two because one makes you feel good and the other makes you feel bad. It's the depression, it's the guilt, it's the resentment, the anger. It's those feelings that don't make you feel empowered. Those are the bad feelings. On another level, it's called bad frequency or bad vibes or whatever you want to call it. The flip side to that is that you have good emotions, good feelings, and you know when they come because they make you feel good. Excitement, joy, gratitude, love. Imagine if we can feel that way every day. When you celebrate the good feelings, you'll draw to you more good feelings and things that make you feel good. So it's really so simple. It's right there. The answer is, what am I attracting right now? Well, how do you feel? I feel good. Well, good. Keep doing that. Our feelings are a, a feedback mechanism to us about whether we're on track or not, whether we're on course or off course. If you're feeling good, then you're creating a future that's on track with what you're desiring. If you're feeling bad, you're creating a future that's off track with your desires. As you go about your day, the law of attraction is working in every second. Everything we think, everything we're feeling is creating our future. If you're worried, if you're in fear, then that's bringing more of that into your life throughout the day. Whatever you're thinking and feeling today is creating your future. And you're getting exactly what you're feeling about, not so much what you're thinking about. That's why people, if they stub their toe out of bed, they tend to spiral. The whole day goes like that, you know. They have no clue that a simple shifting of their emotions can change their entire day and life. If you start out having a good day and you're in that, that particular happy feeling, as long as you don't allow something to change your mood, you're going to continue to attract, by the law of attraction, more situations, circumstances, people that sustain that happy feeling. Good days, bad days, rich get richer, poor get poor. It's all about what these people are predominantly and continually feeling. You can begin right now to feel healthy. You can begin to feel prosperous. You can begin to feel the love that's surrounding you, even if it's not there. And what will happen is the universe 
will correspond to the nature of your song. The universe will correspond to the nature of that inner feeling and manifest because that's the way you feel. Your thoughts and your feelings create your life. It'll always be that way, guaranteed. So basically what you focus on with thought and feeling is what you attract into your experience, whether or not it's something you want. It's hard to swallow. But when we can begin to open ourselves up to that, the ramifications are awesome. It means that whatever thought has done in your life, it can be undone through a shift in your awareness.